So we're going to move on now to um, some of the science that is associated with the types of um, teaching that Rinpoche just gave us about innate basic goodness. And I'd like to start this by um, showing you a couple of really, really short video clips. These are clips that are less than a minute. Um, and these video clips have been shown to very young babies. Uh, the first set of clips uh, have been shown to six-month-old babies. Uh, and the second set of clips are shown to toddlers. And um, you'll see very early on what the purpose of this is. But let me just show you two of these clips first, and then we can talk some about it. So um, this is the first clip. Okay, so that's clip one. Okay, so these were shown to six-month-old babies. And which do you think six-month-old babies prefer? How do we know that? Can, how do we ask a six-month-old baby which it prefers? Oh, I heard some good suggestions in the comments. So one of the ways we can do that is we can carefully track their eye movements using infrared eye tracking. So we can monitor exactly where they're looking and, it, and for how long they're looking. And it turns out that six-month-old babies strongly prefer to watch the first video clip compared to the second. Strongly prefer. I mean, these are dramatic differences. Let me show you two other clips. Okay, so that's one. <laughs> okay. So then toddlers are given each of these stuffed animals, these puppets, and they're asked, they're asked to pick which one they want. They can take home one. Which do you think they'd prefer to take home? It's dramatic. It's a dramatic preference. So these are not subtle biases. These are dramatic. And they clearly illustrate that early on in life there is this kind of innate basic goodness. There is a preference for cooperation, for altruistic, warm-hearted encounters compared to ones that are selfish or aggressive. It's very, very clear. And so when Rinpoche talks about recognizing this innate basic goodness that is present in each of us, the scientific research is beginning to congeal and confirm that there is this kind of basic preference which exists very early on in life. And these are very rigorous studies. And as I mentioned earlier, there's even some indication that it extends beyond human beings, that there are other species uh, that show uh, this kind of preference as well.